Hey y'all, Bear Ranger here. <clears throat> Welcome in for my look at Gokaio from Kazuko Sentai Gokaiger. I believe I said that right. Sometimes I have trouble saying the names of the Japanese versions of the show. In America, it's going to be known as Super Mega Force. And this will be called Legendary Megazord instead of Gokaio. But anyway, <clears throat> this is a very cool looking Megazord. I mean, the, the whole pirate theme is going on all over. You see, got little pirate emblems and stuff. <clears throat> it's one of the better looking Megazords. I mean, even in the back, it looks pretty good. Of course, this right here has functionality to it, and we'll get to that. Okay, now. I'm going to go ahead and break this down and then reassemble it and show you how it goes together. I'll start off with the Gokai Galleon. Uh, this and the other models have a lot of nice detail on them. Sometimes it's hard to see if the light doesn't hit them just right. It'd be nice if there was a little more paint on some of the detailing too. There's cannons in here but you can't see them that good. There's a pirate emblem here. It's not painted. But overall this looks pretty cool. In the show the sails are a whole lot bigger but if they had them like this on a toy it would be impractical for the transformation and you have to take them off, set them off to the side and you could run the risk of losing them. So they kind of compromise with sails this big or this small. Alright now I'm going to go ahead as I look at these I'm going to go ahead and get them ready for the transformation to Gokayo. So what we'll do is we'll split the front, take these out, and that's your swords. When you split the top, or the front there, you get your head reveal. Take this sail, fold it down, fold that down. Take your wings, fold them back. And there's the body ready to go. For the legs, we have Gokai Marine, which is a submarine. You see the conning tower here, fired in them there on the sides. I really like the look of this. You have your pink and your white, but also you have black and gold as highlights. Transformation into the leg. Just open that up. There's your foot. Okay. Gokai Trailer. Well, it's not pretty obvious it's a tractor trailer, but the the tractor needs to be a lot taller. It just doesn't look right being so flat. Um, this, as well as this one here, they don't really do anything. And I'll get more into that. They just transform, basically. So there's your other leg. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these on. As you can see here, this peg is longer than that. So this would be the leg for this side. This one doesn't have anything like that on the bottom of it, but that should be a dead giveaway as to which side it goes on. All right, let me stand this up, change my camera a little bit. Okay, next, we have a Gokai Racer, it's a race car. Uh, and it, it does have, doesn't have anything that really changes on it either. The only transformation you go through is to swing the wheels forward to put it on for the arm. I'll go ahead and do that now. Then go Kai Jet. It's got a uh, cannon in the front. Now these other ones don't really look like they have weaponry on them, but I'm sure they do. You just don't I just don't see it that well. The only change you do with this is take this off here. That's going to be the helmet. Fold those down, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the head on. Or the helmet, rather. So now that we've got them together, let me go ahead and put the swords in. It's hard to see from up here. There we go. 
Now the reason these are blocky and don't really transform that much is because they're hollow. The arms are hollow, the chest is hollow, and the legs are hollow. So dial on the back. This, this you use to control the opening of the front. There's going to be different machines or megazords or zords that will come apart and fit in chest, arms, and legs. And when you turn the dial on the back, the doors will pop open and parts of these things will come out. Now I'm just going to turn this, just kind of give you an idea of how these are going to open up. Now they may open up with a, and close back, that's because there's nothing inside to really push hard to keep them open. Now see that was clockwise. As you saw, everything opened up one at a time. Alright, let me close these back. Right, now I'm going to do it counterclockwise. So everything came open at one time. Alright, now I'm going to set him to one side. One of the things that goes with Gokayo is a guy lion. This is originally from Guy Ranger. But this particular one was made to work with Gokayo. Nice little trick there with the flaps. But this has sound and lights. There's a little switch there. Turns them on. And when you press, the lights light up, he roars, and these pop out. But inside this thing in the programming, there's a special sound. And let me see about getting to it. Okay, I edited that down to get to the little surprise there. That is so cute. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. He's doing these savages, savage roars and all of a sudden, meow. Okay, let me close that back. Okay, now the first combination. Right, let me close this piece here back. What we'll do is we'll take the legs off. here off. And we'll set go go kayo down in here. Alright, there's that. That's like the uh, Gal Kentaurus, which has a red line and the big red falcon uh, mounted on top of it. You can use this part here with the swords. They fit in the ends. You can have them going this way or that way. And you need to fit it in on this side. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Alright, now that's one combination. Go ahead and take this off. Take the Kayo off. Now what we're going to need to do is to take this here apart. And now you're going to have the legs. Now I could have left Gokayo on there, but I like to take him off when I start taking the line apart. Right now, get him back on. And go ahead and take this apart. Take the helmet off. And this right here becomes a weapon, and I don't remember what the name of it is. But you can put it in his hand. There we go. Now if you want, you can take one of the swords, put it in over here. Now let me open up everything. Okay, we'll 
Take out the cannon. Detach the, this ramp here. I'm going to go ahead and put the head in. Now on the legs, there's a little arrows right here. All right, this is a green arrow. Now that you know it goes on this side. So what you do is you just fold the leg up, open this. See, there's that little gray tab there. You swing that out, close it back. This will not lock in place. What happens is you hold this together, slide it in. And that little gray tab is going to lock right there. That's the little latch that holds the uh, flap. You do the same for the other leg. It's got a blue arrow. Hold it. Get your flap out. Hold that back. Slide it in until it catches and locks in. See, this, this is going to lock into the arm, plus this up here is going to latch into the little uh, latch up there. Now, I had opened these by when I turned everything, so you can see that what that was. Let me go ahead and put the helmet on. Now, this helmet is reminiscent of the Shinkinger helmet. Um, it's on the side here you can see like a circle, a uh, square, or whatever. It's the shapes of the different uh, emblem modes of the origami and Shinkinder. Make sure everything's in good. Okay, I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. And what you get is all these little flaps open up. You see these symbols, which are the kanji symbols from Shinkinder. And the sound effect is the uh, drums beating when uh, Shinkinder put on their uniforms when they're getting ready to uh, fight. So this is kind of like paying homage to Guy Ranger and Shinkinder at the same time. And now, let me go ahead. And take this apart again. Alright, alright, I hear you. Now on the back of the arms, there's a little button right here. You can push that, and that will loosen whatever you have in here. There's one on this other side. Push it in. And that comes loose. That one arm keeps wanting to fall off. I probably just don't have it in tight enough. Take a Kaiwa off to one side. Get the helmet. Now, when you put Guy Lion back together, of course, you fold those up. Be sure to turn your sound off. Slide that in. Push your handle in. Fold the end apart. You stick it in like this. There. Now, the hind legs, you need to put the little flat back in. Lock it up. Now, you see here, this green here, and you've got a hole in front of it. Now, on the, each leg, you got the big hole that fits here, 
Then you got a little nub there that fits that little hole. And when you put them on, you have to be sure they go in there right. You can take your helmet, fold those back, stick it on. And then go ahead and put this these on. Or this here. Now there's no possibility with guy lying at all. I mean you can kind of move that a little bit, but that's it. Four front legs, there's no movement at all there. But it still looks great. Uh, I still really like how this looks. Now, over time, other machines or megazords were released to go with Gokaio. The Magic Dragon, uh, Mock Alcon. Oh, several things. I can't think of them right at the moment. But all of them will come apart and fit in these doors and they all pay homage to past series of Super Sentai. Before I go, I want to do a quick size comparison between the Japanese Gokaio and the American version, which will be the legendary Megazord. As you can see, there's a big, pretty big size difference. There's a lot of features that are different too, but I can go into that on a separate video. Also, here's a guy lion, and here's Bandai America's version. And you can see it's a lot smaller too. Still looks good. I'll cover these later. It's so Bear Ranger signing off. Hope y'all enjoyed my look at Gokaio and the guy lion. Y'all have a good one and come back. Bye.